of Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. Now before I get on to any technical stuff, which I'm hoping we'll be able to get at right away, I'd just like to say an announcement. Most of you guys have already known this, but I might as well throw it out there. Pretty much the Feed the Beats mod pack is not going to be released until 1.4. Meaning that this season 2.5 is going to stay, well, longer than I originally thought, but that's not too bad considering that I'm getting pretty comfortable with this world. That does mean, though, that there won't be any season 3 in my future until the Feed the Beast mod pack gets released for 1.4. Now, good news is that in the same thread where that information was available, Slowpoke pretty much said that the Feed the Beast mod pack will only take about one week after the 1.4 update has come out. So it's going to be, well, a lot faster than it was before. So that's always a plus when it's always, you know, going faster. Anyways, I'm just going to dump in all of my mod items stuff and get ready for this episode. Now, as previously stated, here is the very simple method that we had to be able to create all of our fun stuff. Also, a little update. Three slime balls. Woohoo. Uh, anyways, basically stopping myself in my tracks due to my simplicity, stupid, stupidity, duplicity, and all that fun stuff. Let's try to continue on a nice manner. matter. Anyways, so I can take this chest out. Obviously, chainsaw does not work for the chest. And eventually, we'll root that. Now, here's the fun thing. What I think I'm going to do is basically assume that a lot of stuff is going to come out of here. And we're going to have some sort of factory or whatever. There needs to be some sort of buffer controller. Maybe something that will stop items from going into here when a certain condition is met. That won't be too easy currently since we do not have any iron uh or gates, basically gates, to be able to control that, but we can do a simple uh, type of method instead. This will, of course, involve overflow and the fact that the items are dropped if it tries to go in a direction that it cannot actually go into. So, what we're going to do is make an overflow chest, but also, we're going to make some obsidian pipes to suck all the, the items out. Now, obsidian. Yes, yes, haven't made these for a while, so it's going to be a fun learning experience. Not much of a learning experience, actually, but pretty much the rules of the obsidian fight pipe is the same that it is for any other special type of pipe. Usually the fact that they cannot connect to any similar pipe. So for instance, if I put this here and this here, flicking this with a lever, of course, this will suck up items that are dropped by this. Now, unfortunately, we're going to probably have to do something more akin to this or having some sort of redstone attaching to here and this would probably be the better method of doing this. Okay, so pretty much when an item goes from here to here, it will be awesome and all that. Okay, so we're going to also have to attach something. This will be a temporary method to get that there so that this will continue taking items out of the non-existent chest, which we'll place here. Hello, non-existent chest. How are you? And we'll basically put in a bunch of wood to be able to have everything. So once this is full of coal or whatever it is, meaning that this is full and whatnot, we'll pretty much have it so that it won't generate any more energy and all of that. Now, unfortunately, 
The problem is going to be the fact that this doesn't really have, well, it does output if full. It can output if it's full, but that's not exactly a good one. Maybe we can do something else. Maybe emit if full or something, but that's not good either. So basically emitting redstone if partially filled means that it only emits redstone if it's full or empty. And emitting when it's full would mean that it emits when it's full, saying it doesn't want any more energy. Now the problem is we don't have any method to stop this from getting a lot of wasted charcoal, which would be a bad thing. Though... We're kind of assuming that it can take the energy pretty quickly. Let's think of fact checking after the fact, shall we? Okay. So pretty much we're going to start with a bunch of, let's go with 10 wood in here. And it'll pull out. Eventually it'll be warmed up to one every second. And then it'll find its way into the hopper. Maybe you can have that as a gold tube so that it's a lot better. Maybe this can be a gold tube as well, and it'll be a lot better. But for now, this works. So I'll go into here. It'll be sent into the electric furnace, and then go over there. Now let's put a temporary chest there as well, so that we can see where everything is heading. Basically, the overflow of all the charcoal that we are making. Kind of like that. So basically, this obsidian pipe will suck up any sort of item that cannot be made through that. Or, yes, pretty much. Now it takes like 7.5 seconds or something similar to that, I think. So going at this rate is pretty decent. <clears throat> Now eventually we're going to need to make some iron pipes, so let's get some iron ready for iron pipes. And also let's set up a macerator, which we already have a macerator, and have it set instead to cobblestone. So that'll keep on going, and thus getting cobblestone, turning it into sand, so that we can make some more glass for more things. That takes 30 seconds per maceration so that'll go well and this will eventually output when it's full now we're gonna have to well this is gonna be off and eventually this will stop emitting any sort of energy because this will be pretty much backlogged now maybe there's a way for it to stop accepting energy but won't accept energy anyways so if there was some way to kill this, it'd be a lot easier. Hmm. I'll just try to talk to myself for this. So we're pretty much filling up this with energy. Yes, but we don't want to be wasteful. So eventually this will be full of charcoal and nothing else will be able to be put in that. Now, however, if it's just requesting a bit of energy from that container, this will just start filling up willy-nilly, and using basically a piece of charcoal for like each maceration or whatever it's going to be. Now it's getting to the full point. This is a bit of a buffer, but it's going to eat some charcoal as soon as this is full, or actually when it just pulses between partially full and full. So what we can probably have is some method to... No. Hang on, I gotta think this through a lot better than I currently am. Okay, I did a bit of quick reading, and with some nice math, this takes about... The electric furnace takes uh, approximately 2.8... EU per tick. The generator right here outputs a nice little steady 10 EU per tick. So if we were to have this going with a bit of a loss, we could pretty much, hmm, let's 
try to say this again. Basically, if we're processing any sort of charcoal, we'd want to have this being filled, and we'll want to have three of them. So we're going to need to disassemble this. So three electric furnaces per generator, or if we want to go really startling and basically draining a lot of this as we are going for more and more and more charcoal, you can go four electric gener uh, electric furni per generator, which is probably the best thing to do without any logic. So we're going to need to deconstruct this eventually, but we're also going to need, well, this is going to be very inefficient. Eh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is losing like a bit of EU per tick. And that is losing some as well, but it's less of anyways, let's go onwards. We're going to need to make three more electric furni, I think would probably be the best thing. Actually, two more at least. The electric furnace takes an iron furnace and electric circuit, which means we're going to need to get some rubber. And we have lots of coal, so we could probably macerate that into much more fun stuff than we currently have. Uh, hmm. Got rubber, we're going to need to get more rubber, and probably a good thing to do would be to get more rubber saplings. We have rubber saplings right here, and use some of our bone meal to turn them into some actual trees. So that we have a much better supply of fun. We want to have as much fun as we can. So let's go out into a dark field and get more rubber. Okay, I've been thinking a lot about what would be required for this build. And I pretty much narrowed it down to one sort of logic gate that I would need. Now, if this, is, if this had red power on it, which it does not. I would go for something called, uh, not that I, man, you know, I'd be, think I'd be able to actually think of it. I need to get some form of, yes, state cell. So a state cell connected to this so that it'd be able to turn off or whatever, basically have the redstone turn off for as long as that is on, and as soon as that turns off, wait a second, ah yes, so for as long as this is on, the state would turn off until, and then it would be continually turn off the redstone pulse or whatever, until this redstone is no longer on. So let's see, emit if full. So as soon as that turns on, the redstone, it would continue the, yeah, basically, I am horrible at explaining. So what I'm going to do is try to mimic the effects of the state cell, or at least what I believe the state cell looks like from my point of view. It's not going to be exactly like a state cell, with the fact that I actually have to make all of this without the geniusness of the integrated redstone, so I'm going to have to pretty much try my best with the redstone knowledge that I have, which is a little minimal. Now, I would use redstone wires, etc., to just bring everything down, but I cannot do that. So let's bring this down a few layers and get some redstone working. Now the delay for a certain number of ticks is going to be a little difficult to obtain. So I'm going to have to get a lot of redstone and get out of here somewhere and somehow. Also, I'm going to need to, let's sort that, smelt a lot of my cobblestone so that it'd be smooth stone because I'm going to need a lot of repeaters. So if we do that, we should be set. So we can wait for that. This will continue making energy that will be stored here. Now, the output of our device is going to go to something called an EU splitter cable. So if we look at the splitter recipe, it's pretty simple. We just need high voltage cable, lots of insulation, and a lever. 
The high voltage cable is simple to get, but it's going to be a little costly. There we go. Take these, put it with a single solitary lever, and we got our splitter cable. So let's break open one of these pipe thingies. I think here would be a perfect point, and pretty much this will emit, uh, basically close the gateway as soon as redstone is going towards it. Now that is going to be a fun thing to do because we're going to have to bring redstone pretty much on this side so it doesn't interact with that. So we'll have like a torch or something going from there, but it'll basically be a very complex circuit without all of our integrated redstone stuff. We'll see how it goes. Now if we bring this redstone down, which it is unfortunately getting powered because of that block, so we have to bring it down here. What we'll bring this to is basically towards two devices. We're going to need to bring it to an RS NOR latch and another device that will pretty much tick and a pulse former. Yes, that's it. We're going to need, for the pulse former, a lot of redstone, obviously, and we're going to need to dump a lot of our inventory, or else we're going to wind up going insane. Going insane? Huh. Uh, if only that was a possibility. The going part, at least. What was I saying? Probably something important. So we'll go onwards, actually get some of our wood because we're going to need to keep it for a bunch of redstone torches. So we'll actually turn all of this into torches. Let's get a lot of that. We're going to need a lot of what's it faces because that's how I roll. So once we have enough torches, which we do, we can take some of our smooth stone that we have right now and bring it. Now this pulse former I'm going to have to test to see if it's actually how I think it is but it basically just requires two repeaters and a bit of redstone so we'll take this and we'll also get another lever because for some reason I am all out. There we go. Okay. So it's a pretty simple circuit. We can go like this and this. This goes here. And if we bring this out and this out, this will be the output of the pulse former. This will be the input of the pulse former. And we have that. Now let's see. Obviously that is set incorrectly, so it's probably like this. So basically, when it turns off, does it actually form a pulse? Which is actually probably something that we need. We just need to get a not gate here. <laughs> not much of gate, I know, but pretty much we have the not gate right there. We can flip this. When it turns off, it'll send the pulse going to the RS NOR latch. Now we have to send that along with a lot of repeaters. So let's take this. It'll be a simple pulse, so just the no tick, one tick thing. And we'll set it up here. Now we'll have the RS, the, let's see, RS NOR latch will need to go here as well. So let's form the RS NOR latch. I love the fact that I can remember all of this redstone stuff. And RS NOR latch. There. But the RS Norlatch is like that, so it cannot tick again. So if we turn this on. No, that's not how you do the RS Norlatch. Let's actually bring this over here and down over here to another RS Norlatch, which will go here. And there is a lot of gravel, which we're going to have to remedy eventually. So it goes here. That output goes here, which goes here. Not that. We need to extend it one block, and then we're good.
there, we got our RS Norlatch. So whenever we flick this, it'll go the other way. And what's its response to how many we have? If we have this on and this on, it hasn't actually burned out. Yes, it did. This torch is burned out. So let's hope that that doesn't actually happen anytime soon or else we're screwed. Okay, so we got our RS Norlatch, and we're going to have to clear a bit of this space out, and we can make our pulse former. Ah, oh, fudge. That's not exactly what I wanted, but it doesn't matter too much. It'll all be covered eventually. Not much of a cover, but uh, it works. Okay, so we got the RS Norlatch done. Now, the output of this, we pretty much want so that, well, this is off, so the output needs to go up to the gate that will be over here. So we need to bring this up so that it will go up and to that uh, switch. So let's get out of here. We're going to have an EU switch that will go here. And all behind here, we're going to have to have the nice small circuitry. Small. <laughs> Not going to happen. Okay, so we just have to... This is on, so we need to eventually have it off. So that goes up. And let's go with some vertical redstone. There we go. So this will go here. And we'll just bring ourselves up easily like this. So one torch, two torch, three torch. Oops. And there we go. That's all the way brought up. We're going to need a bit more smooth stone. And we'll cover that eventually so that we know what we're doing so far. So we got that. It's turned off. We can turn it off automatically just by having some fun with it. But anyway, so we want when this turns off to turn on. So this needs to go to our pulse former that will form. So let's see. We need to have our repeaters here and here. So we'll need to bring this out a bit. So this and this. Repeaters will be here and here. And this will be one tick. And then this will go out to more repeaters. Now, the more repeaters part is the fact that, well, this will pulse. And then it needs to be extended, so the length of time. So it needs to basically be like a good like 20 seconds or something. Huh, 20 seconds is a lot, though. So we can start with 20 repeaters and maybe expand it later on. Everything is going to go in like be a long line. And eventually it's going to need to go to... Okay, so it'll turn off, so this one will be off. The only way to activate it back on would be to power this block. So we'd have to send a redstone line to a repeater that will go into this. That'll turn it off. So for instance, if we have this on, that'll be on. Okay, so that's on. So we actually need to put redstone into here to turn it off. And now the RS Norlatch is all gated and all of that. La. There we go. And I'm continually putting my stairs farther and farther and farther back, which is a bit of an annoyance, I can say with absolute certainty. Speaking about absolute certainty, we have run out of energy, so we're going to need to fill it up a bit. So we'll have to take our bat box. 40,000, this takes 60,000, and we're going to need to use a lot of this. Splitter cable, now 
let's see if the splitter cable is actually working. That's good. So if we turn this. Hmm. Oh, derp. Hmm. You're not supposed to... It's direct redstone, isn't it? So at least we're testing this now. So direct redstone input. So that's off. That's good. Is it stated? No, it isn't. So if we bring redstone into here, it'll turn off when it's like that. So if we try like this, it's off. Now when it goes back on, it's on. Okay, so we got that. On, off. It takes a while to actually break the circuit, so got to take into account that. So that's good. We can just hide that as need be, and it'll be good. Now is it actually on the right state? It's a state of denial. Okay, so that should be off, which it is. And that's not the right one. Good. Okay, enough fooling around. How is our energy with our furnace going? We have 41 smooth stone. We need a bit more, so let's just get a lot of smooth stone as we can. But we're still fueling that, so that's probably going to take a bit more time than just that. By the way, that is a big hole which will need to be lit up. And I need apples. To think all this could have been done with a single logic gate. Uh, oh dear. I love red power. Okay, gotta get 19 of these. And we'll take these and start with at least this many repeaters. And we'll put them all on the largest delay and they need to go into here. Right? Right, right. Yes, that is right. So from there, and it'll be there, and we need a NOT gate as well. So we'll have to put the NOT gate in, which will just be a simple endeavor. Good. We're about there. Now I know this system won't be perfect. It might fluctuate quite a bit quite a bit, but that's not even close enough. So let's break those apart, and we're going to need our backpack very soon, or else we're going to be a little off in our energy department, and we don't have much, do we? No, we don't. We're out. Uh, we're very out. Which means we're going to charge this again. And uh, yes, that's why I have that stuff. Charge that. Take that. Put that. Dig that. Oh yeah, I dig it. I dig it. Okay, let's not be a complete nut bar because we're trying to get more people to watch and being a complete nut bar is probably not what they're wanting to watch. Then again, I'm not too sure about you guys, but this is how I roll. Okay. Redstone. Sorry for the silence, I'm just kind of in the zone, or whatever you want it to say. I don't know. 
There we go. Now this is all hooked up, so whenever that actually goes to full, it'll take a while for that whole repeater contraption to go. I'm not sure how long. Let's see, we laid down, what, 20 repeaters at 0 0.4, it'll take 8 seconds. We're going to need more repeaters. We're going to need a lot more repeaters to be able to match that, though. That seems good for now. Um, we should probably test this circuit. Wait, can I use my bat box to refuel this thing? Probably. Yes, I can. Won't be all the way, though, so let's see. That's burning. It's a burning question, I know. So we'll have to wait for this to go all the way, and then we'll see what the response is. And we'll probably take all of that out. Okay, here's the moment of truth to see if it works. Should admit. Admit defeat. Emit. That's partially filled, that's emit if empty, that's do not output, but we need to emit if full. Shouldn't that be emitting if... No, that's not emitting energy if it's full, that's supposed to emit... Hmm. Okay, this is annoying. It should be emitting the redstone power, right? It should. That's connected, but is it actually receiving anything? No, it isn't. So if we try a torch on it, we're not actually getting any sort of redstone current from it at all. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's not emitting any sort of redstone current at all. Not even if partially filled. That's if it's emitting if empty. Do not output energy. Means that this will stop. Do not an output energy unless full. So I'll have to wait for it to be full to output energy. So let's try taking that, see if at least that mechanic is working. No, it isn't. No, yes it is. How are you still getting energy? Okay, it stopped, so... No, it hasn't. So how are you still getting energy? You're not getting... What? Are you guys seeing this? I think I just discovered a perpetual energy machine. The fact that this is... there's, It's not getting energy from that. I know that. It's only outputting energy if full. It says it's outputting only outputting energy if full, but it's somehow outputting energy right now. If we have no cable, it's still, still outputting energy. Ouch. Give me splitter. And for some reason, I cannot pick up the splitter cable. Come on. You know you want to. I guess I might have to NEI that in because it's such an expensive piece. But it's... Okay, I'm going to be right back. This is ridiculous. Okay, I restarted it, and it seems like we're actually getting something. So, we'll put it back to emit it full. I need to put... That's not getting in here, so I'm sorry, but I have to obtain that again. So, got the splitter cable back, supposedly. And now we'll change the behavior to emit if full. So let's get that. We'll take that. And we'll resupply the system with what it needs. So put that on. 
and it might actually work. So that's on, that's on. We'll actually put some battery power in it, generator, so somehow it was magically beaming energy from cyberspace or something. We'll just be a little wasteful and use a log. Nope, that's not what we needed. Okay, cool. What the hell? Okay, it's still not emitting the redstone. No redstone is being emitted, so unfortunately that does seem like a glitch, and that means that this entire circuit is worthless. Worthless, worthless, worthless piece of circuitry right here, folks. Worthless. <sighs> That's a little unfortunate and infuriating, I must say. Well, I think we learned one thing from this, the fact that we should actually test our machinery before we actually do anything like this. But I shouldn't have to test this because this should be a mechanic that is obviously tested. I just don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to say, folks. What I do know what to say is that I need to refill my system with water because oh my gosh lag gonna stop lagging nope testing testing one two three okay this seems good <sighs> that was a little unexpected okay I'm gonna just basically use most of my remaining tin supply and fill up that uh, sucky sucker whatever the bog earth supply so that we can actually We'll get some bog earth. So I'll get this while I am trying to control my anger right now. And we'll continue after this. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure that this whole system is pretty much for naught in the fact that I got this system and I was hoping that it'd be able to do some more stuff than it currently is doing. But I guess the automatic energy... Thing is not going to go well so what I think I'm going to do instead is just cut my losses with this design I'll keep it here just in case an MFE when I put it in will actually do any good which I sincerely doubt but at least it's worth a shot so I'm just gonna take the backpack fill it up with energy because I am going to be severely lacking and we can continue on with just making a few more macerators and we can just macerate some other items in the meantime while we are waiting for some sort of minor act of God to get all of this working. Sounds like a plan, eh? So let's get that, that, ooh, I love cold coke. And we should be good. Okay, so macerators are once again going to require cobblestone. Wood is definitely optional, and we have all of this other lovely stuff with which we can work with. Lots of coal, so we can start macerating or macerating, whichever lingo you prefer, that when we actually get to this uh, fun stuff. Let's see, we got enough rubber, so that won't be a problem. Now, what do I need? I need a lot more than this, that's for sure, so let's just put more of that so we can get more refined iron. I know it's not the most efficient way, but considering that this coal is pretty much derived from basically getting two times the energy for free instead. Hoping we can actually use waterproofing in the next episode, but we're going to need some more stuff than we currently do. So, let's see. Once we get... We're going to need more of these, so let's actually get that copper... And we're going to need two advanced circuits, I do believe. So we'll need more sets of this. And some of that. We'll need refined iron. And here we go. Electric circuit, please. Thank you. And flint. 
flint, flint, flint. Where is our flint? We got some there. We got some there. We got some everywhere, pretty much. Okay, so our first macerator or macerator or whatever you want to call the bloody things. We'll put it like that and we'll make this. Well, not strictly our first macerator. It will be enough. Now, I think these will pull enough EU protect to actually... Uh, make sure that the generator is working as strong as it can. So that's good. Let's zap it with some energy with which we can actually use the electric furnace in the never-ending supply that we were meaning this to. We're going to need to light that stuff up eventually, but we'll get to that afterwards. So we'll just put some of this so that it'll be in a perpetual state just so that we know everything's working we'll put this here as well gonna need to put this on as the on off switch though I do not like it like that app ah, it'll have to do one more tie ah whatever okay so that'll fill the energy this will deplete the energy as well, and also the fact that there's no energy connected to it. Let's do that. Okay, we now have energy. Energy is flowing into this. It'll go to all of the other machines while it is working. So this is full. There will now be a net gain. So if we turn on these macerators right now, we should see that this net gain quote unquote is turned into close to a net loss let's see this is a net loss when we have the macerators as well actually just barely a net gain so this is actually a perfect system we can run two macerators at full capacity when we have this going so charcoal is going, this is going, it's all going, this is perfect. Even though there's no automatic shutoff switch, the minimal waste of energy is pretty much worthwhile. It's not too much to cry over. So let's make another thing for with which we can just be annoyed at because it's going to take even more energy. Maybe we can put something else similar. But I digress. Let's get this. One more macerator, please. Thank you. Come again. So I think we got our quota of macerators. That will definitely be enough for now. We'll just have to charge that up. That's good. Eventually, probably by the time that we are actually getting the third macerator, this will be doing a lot better than it currently is. We'll need that low voltage transformer. But we're also going to need a lot more than just this charcoal. And there is, and this is pretty much going. We still have a big net of energy because eventually it's going to spill over into the other chest. And we'll be good. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of what the... Did I have those two diamonds there? Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. I must have picked that up while mining without realizing it. Or I'm just an idiot and have had those for a long time. Wave time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.